so guys this is the photo which we gonna edit just like Caleb right so first of all you have to capture the, that kind of you know photo or the pose in your bedroom like you are holding a mobile and you are the light is coming directly on your face so first of all let's duplicate the image <coughs> let's crop the photo for our Instagram ratio that is 8 is to 10 let's select this much of ratio for our final uploads and just hit ok guys if you don't know who is Caleb then just search on Instagram he is really an amazing artist and we really do respect his creativity and the amazing color effect which he uses in his photos so guys all you have to do is just you know you can download this chat pop up all the links are down given in the description or directly from our website this chat pop up png right let's duplicate this uh, background image go to the filter select the camera filter and we gonna enhance the shadows or the dark region because you can see it is very much dark and kind of you know very much blackish effect it is seen in the photo so we gonna just reduce the blackness so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after whole blackness is totally removed and it just gave it an amazing pump up of the black shadows now add a layer mask on it and when you wanna delete or erase the particular selection of the black shadow you can use select make sure you have selected the black color in the foreground and select the mask layer and just paint it where you wanna delete the black shadows right so you can see So here is the before and here is after you can see the difference So let's create new layer select the brush tool And just make sure to select the kind of you know teal is blue color or light sky blue color you can just pick from here and just give it a one stroke of that color make sure you have selected the opacity to 100 percent right and just select the brush tool and just make a one stroke of that color and change the blending mode to overlay now we can just place this color or this because it is very important that uh, you know the shadow or the lighting effect we gonna just place the, that chat pop up on the top of the head of the model so it should be there that the lighting effect should be come below that uh, portion right so it should look more realistic so we're gonna just place this again duplicate the image and select the <coughs> just try new blending mode or just keep it as all it would be pretty much perfect I guess or you can just keep it as soft light now you can see we have created a nice and perfect kind of you know lighting effect now again let's create new layer and select the brush tool and again when just make a overlay of that color and just you can reduce a little bit of opacity of that layer and just place this on the top of the head near the hair region because here is the position where we are gonna just place that uh, chat png right so we are gonna just place this that lighting effect over there now we can select the eraser tool and just uh, erase it from the face of the model because we want a perfect and clean type of you know look on the mo uh, face model's face so we can just reduce that color or erase that color from the face of the model with the help of eraser Now you 
can see the new friends it is really kind of giving a photo and amazing look let's reduce a little bit of size now let's change the blending mode just right click on it and select the blending options uh, we are gonna just give it a shadow or the outer glow so let's give it a outer glow make sure to give that kind of sky blue color tone of that outer glow right because the color is actually of that kind of tone so we can also make that kind of color effect on the outer glow now if it is needed you can just do adjustment with the help of levels now we gonna see where it like actually fits perfect I guess here is the best position I can just place this now let's create a black new layer below all the layers select the brush tool and just make a more darker color over here paint it with the one stroke press ctrl D to enlarge the that color stroke and because here we gonna just make it more darker if you are making some kind of you know things on the darker in the below portion so you can just you know <coughs> make the cat png to look perfect because if there is a whiter region on the below then you won't be able to see that the cat png perfectly so we are gonna just make it more darker on the below layer so you can see we have erased with that portion of the darkness from the face we gonna just keep it in the corner of the image now let's take some orange color of here and just place it one stroke of that and change the blending mode to overlay press ctrl T and we gonna just place this somewhere over here and just adjust it by yourself again press duplicate by pressing ctrl j and here we are gonna just make it to soft light blending mode you have to guys try new new blending mode and see how it actually fits to your image so you can just do such kind of experiment according to your you know experiments kind of you know thing whatever you do let's again create new layer and select the brush tool of that uh, and select the cyan tone change the blending mode to soft light and again we're gonna just keep it on the top of the hairs of the model increase a little bit and make sure to place it on the perfect position of the hair of the model so you can see the different is really giving an amazing look to the photo Now here we gonna just delete that uh, read 25 milli minute ago that uh, text with the help of eraser tool right you can totally adjust it this png you know transformation according to your choice now let's select the marquee tool with the help of marquee tool this text and just delete it Let's reduce some opacity of the uh, outer glow. Now it is looking kind of actually very perfect. 
let's just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers let's crop the image now let's select the blemish tool spot healing tools and we're gonna just uh, you know reduce a little bit of spots from the face of the model Now let's create new layer, select the brush tool, again just make a stroke of that orange color. Now change the blending mode to overlay or soft light, whatever you want you can just do it. And just place it on over here, right? Or you can just keep it as a soft light, whatever is more suitable the blending mode you can just do it soft light is actually making it look more amazing so let's keep it as a soft light now let's merge both the layers again let's just crop the image now here the next process start of color grading so go to the filter select the camera filter and you're gonna just do it a little bit of adjustment just make go to the calibration just make the blue primary color to minus around 30 minus 50 or something like that Now let's go to the contrast and let's add a little bit of contrast to the photograph and just increase a little bit of highlights in the image reduce the shadows Let's pump up a little bit of you know white effect and now go to the hue and say uh, HSL adjustment select the red hue and just make sure to get that perfect skin tone make the red color to kind of you know orange skin tone that that is totally up to you guys so you have to maintain the originalism of the skin so you can just adjust the saturation and luminescence of the red tone and also the orange color to make your skin color look more perfect and kind of close to the realistic tone so this is the key point of editing right guys now here we have almost done every kind of adjustment let's select the aqua tone and just make a little bit of bluish tone to the photo by making it to minus 9 and just add a little bit of blue color now let's add a little bit of clarity to the photograph and you can add a plus 1 or plus 2 saturation now you can see guys it is really looking perfect here is the before and here is the after guys it is really looking very very amazing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribe to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashfieldcreations.com from there also we are gonna up up upload you know you can Check out all the presets in the form of mobile lightroom, PC lightroom, camera preset, lots to color video videos as well as photos and cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. Also guys don't forget to visit our second website which we gonna launch soon that is filterpreset.com. On that website also we gonna upload soon the most creative and the powerful presets. Also guys don't forget to follow us on Instagram and also guys follow the Calop Instagram profile for this amazing you know creative inspiration concept so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome